Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to the second tutorial on how to, custom, how to become a geek. I'm going to customize my operating system. Last time I installed my Windows 7, Windows 7 system, now I'm going to customize it. Then I'm, I'm just going to go online using my Internet Explorer because I don't have another, another browser. I'm just going to download Chrome, which to me is the best, is one of the best, is one of the best process in the world currently we have so i'm just going to download it and install it and use it for the rest of downloads and customization so i have i have shortened the video so it's just shortened because i have a slow connection but you'll just see the installation the key things you'll see i hope you know how to install you just see the installation I'll go online and download Rainmeter. Please download, don't download the beta. Download the final release. Beta usually have some errors. It have not finally. It is not a final release. Just it is just a release for technicians to see how it is going to be and develop skins for it. So please download the final. Then go to Deviant and download a theme. Download the theme for Rainmeter which you are going to use. If you become good at it, you'll be able to make your own skins. I'll maybe show you how to create one and upload it to Deviant. Please become a become a member of Deviant, it's a great site for artists. There are wallpapers you can get the Deviant, you can get you can get themes and like you'll see when I'm changing the boot screen, you see the still boot screen. There's a lot of things you can get. Artists have created in Deviant. Now, uh, after I've downloaded that, I'll just go to codaforlife.com. Uh, you'll get the Windows 7 boot updater. You just download it. It's, I don't know what's wrong with my browser. It has an error. I don't know why. You just download it. The first, you just download the first one, and then there's an original, there's a original, original, the original skin of Windows 7. You can still download it, go to return it to the original after you have changed it. Then you go to this yet again and <laughs> browse for boot screens. And you just, I'll just scroll around so that you can see the menu. You see, my internet, internet connection is slow, so my picture will not be able to load and it will be snaggy. I'm sorry for that. I hope next time I'll have a faster internet connection to help me with this. So I'll just choose one. The shape is the um, just this one. I think it's great. The blue one, I like the red. So I will just download it. It's loading. Sorry for the kind of the slow internet. So I just download it. Or you can download another one. It will be the same. So you can download it wherever you want. Now I go to WinRap. WinRap. I'm going to download. Uh, I'm going to download WinRap. It's a great compressor and compressor of files. Most file comes downloaded. Uh, on, you download the most compressed using WinRap. So it's something to have. Even the skins they will always be done, compressed with dinner. Now I go to this is to security to get an antivirus. You obviously notice that I don't have an antivirus yet, so I'll just download it and now it's time to install. Yeah. I'll not talk during the installation, I just to check as I install. It's not a very long process. Everyone knows how to install software. You just click next, next, next. I think it's done. It's just that easy.
now I've just completed installing customizing the operating system as you can see it looks good I also hit the taskbar so I think it's good for me my taskbar always stays at the top but I didn't change it it's just easy to change it you just adopt it you just drag it to wherever you want but I, I, I just left it to the bottom now you just can see it uh, and that's all so thank you for watching please subscribe below i leave all the links to wherever i went from below and please like the video if you liked it and give a shout out and share it on, YouTube, on facebook and youtube uh, and google plus and thank you for everything i'll just shut it down see you next time